today we're talking all about the Nova Sling Bag from Dagny Dover. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole and on this channel we talk about everything from bag reviews, product reviews to so much more. So if you're new here, definitely consider subscribing. Today I'm going to talk to you all about the brand new summer release from Daggy Dover. This is the Nova Sling Bag. The bag does come in three different colors, this beautiful rosewood color, moonbeam, which is an ivory, and then black. Um, I chose the rosewood color just because I love the beautiful shade of rose. And this video is special because it is in collaboration with my great friend Ashley over at Gator Mom Reviews. She has the same bag in the color moonbeam, and she's going to pack her bag up um, slightly different than me. I'm packing mine for me and my daughter that's three and her kids are a little bit older So be sure to go check out her page and subscribe while you're there um, I'm gonna show you how I have the bag all packed up I'm gonna link in the description box down below um, the bag along with everything that I mentioned in this video So be sure to check out the show notes if you need any links. All right, let's start talking about the Nova Probably the coolest detail about this bag is that it's made from recycled materials. It's actually made from seven water bottles how amazing is that? I think that's so cool that it's eco-friendly and it's a great bag for on the go if you're carrying stuff for just you, if you're going on a hike, a walk. It's ultra lightweight, it weighs 17 ounces, so it's super lightweight with nothing in it. And even once it's filled up, it's really not heavy at all. So I'm gonna show you guys um, how I have it packed up and kind of walk through some of the features. So on the very front of the bag, let's go around and check out the pocket situation. You have two mesh pockets with these little elastic closures. So in this one, I just have my car keys. This is my um, Oventure key ring that I'm using for summertime that I absolutely love. It keeps you hands-free while you're on the go. And I keep that, or I keep those keys right here in that front pocket. Then in the pocket right next to it, I just have my portable fan because I'm in Texas and it is super hot. <laughs> it's summertime. It is crazy hot outside. So I have this little pocket fan, which I keep right on the outside as well. As I turn the bag around to the back, you'll see this little cell phone pocket right here. And that's exactly what I have inside. My phone is an iPhone 12 Pro Max and it fits in this pocket perfectly. You'll see on the outside of the bag and the strap here, um, there's a bunch of little elastic loops, which are perfect for carabiners. Dagny Dover does sell these on their website. The bag does not come with any, so you will need to purchase those separately or like I'm doing over here, I'm just clipping on all of my little accessories um, because you not only have loops on the strap here, but you also have them going down the side of the bag. So as a mom, I have hand sanitizer from Touchland. I have my lippy clip that has chopstick in it and I have a little fidget toy because these are all things that I reach for and might as well have them um, clipped right to the outside so I can get to them quickly and easily. All right, the bag itself is a drawstring bag. I have the um, the string knotted up here just so it doesn't hang super low, but I did want to point out one detail of these two cords. They do have a coating on the end that prevents them from fraying, so you don't have to worry about that. They're kind of finished off in like a rubbery material. And then the bag just opens up just like this. And here is a look on the inside. It's gonna be kind of tough to see everything in there. However, I think this is a pretty decent job. So I'm gonna start just pulling stuff out way back here, this little shiny thing. Um, I'm gonna take out, believe it or not, is a little um, photo case that has everything I need for my newly potty trained daughter. <laughs> so I have inside here a wet bag. Um, underneath that, I have a disposable toilet cover. And then I also have a little packet of post-its and that's just to cover the sensor on the auto flush toilets because they scare her. So if you're thinking this bag might be a little too small for you, if you have a newly potty trained kiddo and you can condense it down to a little case like this, I think it'll work great. All right, let's finish emptying out the bag and then I'll show you the pocket situation. Right in front of that, I have my wallet from Dagny Dover. This is the Travel Accordion wallet. Um, it looks like this. It's one of my favorite wallets. I love it so much. And then in the big section right here, I have my pouch from Mina Bay. This is the Bebe pouch from their Mina Mama pouch set. And in this little pouch, I just have some odds and ends that I would use for like med kit type situation. So I have my bug bite thing. It's with me all summer long. If you've never seen the bug bite thing, it quickly and easily removes the mosquito saliva that makes your skin itch when you get bit by a mosquito. It's a must have if you get bit by mosquitoes, must. Um, 
I have some sunscreen, I have a Tide pen, I have a little mirror, soap sheets, you know, just some little odds and ends in there. Here's what the inside is looking like as we're removing things. In this pocket that's kind of open up here, it looks like a cell phone pocket. It has that elastic band. Um, and in here, you could put a cell phone. I just put lip products, some travel scissors, a reusable straw, and my AirPods. All, all of this fit perfectly right in that little pocket in the interior. Then you do have the Diving Over branding right here along the back of the bag, right underneath the grab handle. Okay, so right underneath this elastic pocket, there is a long mesh Velcro pocket that looks like this. So that's where I had my daughter's potty training stuff. And then in front of that, you see there's two smaller pockets. And in this one, I have Kleenex and a granola bar. And in the other one, right here, I just had my wallet. So that's what the pocket situation looks like on that side of the bag. You have a Velcro and two elastic pockets and then that pocket that looks like a cell phone pocket. Then you also get a key leash, which are great. You could use that as a carabiner on the outside of your bag if you want. Um, and then on this side, you have pockets that are, that are reminiscent of the pockets from the Dakota backpack. Um, they are these two vertical pockets right here on this side. So in one of those side pockets, I just had a mosquito wipe, I had a wet one wipe, a bookie wipe, some watermelon water, and some Neosporin. That was right there. In this pocket, I just have a little tiny travel, um, keep going for save kit. These are just band-aids. And then I also have my hairbrush and my pill case. Hairbrush, pill case. All right, now the bag is totally empty. Let me give you a view of the inside. You can see that pocket layout on that side. Here's what they look like on this side. And the bag itself, like I mentioned, so lightweight, so comfortable. I love the color options they have, the moonbeam, that beautiful ivory, and then this rose shade. They're both so, so pretty. Um, but yeah, that is what I had packed inside of my Nova sling bag. If you guys have any questions at all or comments, drop them in the comment box down below. Be sure to go check out Ashley's video. I'll have it linked as well. And I'll see all of you guys again in my next video. Bye guys.